The Eternal Alliance is stronger than ever, Commander. More worlds sign up every day. Name any planet Valen terrorized, and we're helping them recover. Uh, speaking of which, Zakul contacted us again. They're asking for more aid. Send them one more supply convoy, but that's it. I can't shower Zakul with gifts while other worlds suffer. I'm sure they'll understand. You're holding out on me, Theron. What's the status of our mission to Iocath? I was saving the best for last. Lana should be closing in on the superweapon right about now. Come in, Lana. How's the radiation sickness treating you? It's nothing I can't handle. Isn't that right, C6? You heard the droid? Mm hmm Lana equals full of herself. Focus on the mission. Have you found the superweapon, Lana? According to the intel we received, it should be just up ahead. Stand by. Target located. Commencing scan. Power levels are off the charts, and rising by the second. Incredible. Contact! Lana, what's happening? I've got company. What's the Republic doing here? The Sith Empire? They must be after the superweapon. Get Lana back online. Hurry! Working on it! Don't worry, I lost them. Lost who? The Sith Empire and the Republic. They're on Iocath, and they appear to be fighting for control of the superweapon. Iocath is massive. There's no way we all happen to find the superweapon at the exact same time. Agreed. The timing is just too perfect. So it's fate, chance, or plain old bad luck. Either way, we've got a superweapon to deal with. According to my scans, it's more powerful than anything we've ever encountered. More powerful than the Eternal Throne? Quite possibly. If the Republic or Empire claim it, they would usurp the Eternal Alliance as the dominant power in the galaxy. The fallout would be catastrophic. Then we have no choice. We can't let this weapon fall into the wrong hands. How should we proceed, Commander? We'll meet you on Iocath, Lana. Head for the Fleet Spire and start clearing a landing zone. Understood. I'll see you soon. Ships of the Eternal Fleet. Stop all supply runs to Imperial and Republic worlds and join me on Iocath. We have a war to win. Hello, Iocath. You're looking as dangerous as ever. Something's wrong. The Imperial and Republic fleets aren't attacking each other. No, 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 no! Something is scrambling our weapon systems. It's coming from the planet's surface, near the superweapon. The Eternal Fleet's offline, Commander. They can't help us. Tell the Gemini captains to find a workaround. In the meantime, we'll head to the surface and establish a landing zone. Good call. If there's any way to help our fleet, we'll find it on Iocath.
Commander, welcome back to Ayakath. I'm glad you're safe. What's the latest? The war's heating up with every passing minute. You didn't tell us you had company. Our trigger-happy friends sent these assassins, so I took them captive. I told you I'm no assassin! I've come to deliver a message from the Republic. And you are? Captain Elara Dawn, it's an honor to finally meet you, Master Jedi. I apologize on Captain Dawn's behalf. Her attempts to pluck your Republic heartstrings are embarrassing. Who are you? Major Quinn. Advisors of the Empress and loyal servant of the Sith Empire. Like Captain Dawn, I come bearing a message. Supreme Commander Malcolm wants a word with you. In private. Empress Asina requests the same. But unlike Malcolm, she's open to a group conference. Get your leaders on the line, both of them. It's about time we sort out this mess. Right away. Thank you for extending the Empire this honor, Commander. The Republic's glad to see you. And my son, on Iogath. Keep me out of this, Malcolm. Enough! Supreme Commander Malcolm. Empress Asina, your armies have started a war over a superweapon of immeasurable power. Why would you risk everything over a single weapon? I take full responsibility for the Republic's actions, but I won't apologize. This ought to be rich. It's no secret the Eternal Empire nearly wiped out the Republic. We're struggling to rebuild and protect ourselves. The superweapon on Iocath is the key to the Republic's survival. And I'll be damned if I'm going to watch it fall into the Empire's treacherous hands. I didn't come here to be insulted. What are you getting at, Malcolm? You once fought the Sith Emperor on his home turf. Now, you wipe out his legacy. Join forces with the Republic. Help us defeat the Empire, and we'll share access to the superweapon, and all of Iocath. The Empire is already my ally. Why should I break that bond to side with you? Asina tried to steal the superweapon out from under your nose. In my book, that's grounds to dissolve your partnership. He has a point. This is absurd. We acted to stop the Republic from raining destruction on our heads. Yours too, Commander. You walked away from their corruption once before. Now, you can wipe the slate clean. Help us crush the Republic threat. Once they fall, our empires can both partake in the spoils of Iokath. Lana, you know the Empire inside and out. What's your take on Asina's offer? We've already allied with the Empire. If we turn against them now, what message does that send to the rest of our followers? It tells them we don't honor agreements with traitors. Don't forget, she trespassed on Iokath without your permission. A small transgression. If I had to choose, I would join forces with the Empire. The Republic's a safer bet. The choice is yours, Commander. Who shall we side with? We will ally with the Sith Empire. A wise choice. Never thought I'd see a Jedi side with a Sith. Dorn, do it! For the Republic! She got away. We'll deal with her later. Commander, the Republic has launched their attack. Fight back with everything you've got. We're on our way. Lana, Major Quinn, defend the fleet spire while we hold off the Republic. May the Force serve us all. It's been far too long since I've spilled Republic blood. No offense, Commander. Our alliance continues to bear fruit. First against the Eternal Empire, and now against Malcolm's rabble. We have secured our base, and sent the Republic troops whimpering back to their master. Malcolm's weakened. If we hit him now, he won't have time to recover. Decisive and ruthless. Lovely. If I know the Supreme Commander, he's already plotting the Republic's next move. Strike teams Orek and Greg suffered heavy losses. The survivors await your orders. <sighs> Asina must be loving this, but her victory belongs to her ally. You compile the report on the Alliance commander. What's your recommendation? He's a hardened veteran with extensive personnel and resources. 
Even with our numbers, I doubt our chances in a head-to-head -head battle. Asymmetrical tactics would be best. A surprise attack. Surgical and precise. Then we'd better shock the Alliance commander. Gather your top engineers and rally the troops. I'm coming to Iocaf. What are we looking at? The Republic has erected a formidable base. Their defenses are impressive, but they lack the supplies needed for a long campaign. If we lay siege to Malcolm's base, we can suffocate the Republic offensive and win the war. You know your father better than any of us. How do we break him? Malcolm and I aren't close. But he's not hard to read. He thinks like a soldier, measures his life in ground lost and battles won. Every loss is an opportunity. He's going to prey on our overconfidence. And then spring his trap right when we let our guard down. If I were Malcolm, I'd stage the ambush the second we enter his base. We'd be trapped inside, running blind, and locked in the Republic's sights. Who knew there was a brain under all that scar tissue? Let's reserve that judgment for the Imperial coroners. Indulge me for a moment. My scouts recently found a weapons factory. It's guarded by a host of Iacath droids and fill to the brim with dangerous toys. What do you say we plunder the factory, then use what we find to annihilate Malcolm's base? Will Iocast's weaponry be enough to break your father's defenses? Malcolm won't see it coming, which means it's the best shot we have. Coordinate with Lana and get ready to attack the base. Theron and I will take the weapons factory. Is that what I think it is? One of Iocast's original creators. It looks like it's been dead for centuries. And let's hope it stays that way. Ah! Ah! Whatever happens here, it was all worth it just to see the look on your face. Very funny. Now, unless you've got another joke up your sleeve, I'm going to get to work. All right, buddy. Let's see what you know about these weapons. Iocath's even more impressive in person. Its technologies will defend the Republic soon enough. We've nearly finished construction, but the schematics are missing key pieces of data. Time is short, Captain. Find a workaround. Right away, sir. We can't fail now. The fate of the Republic rests on our shoulders. I'd say that's enough firepower to get Malcolm a run for his money. Download every last file. We need to know how to use these weapons and how to build more of them. Give me one minute. That's on. Some of these files have already been decrypted and translated into BASIC. We might have Scorpio to thank. If she's listening, I wouldn't mind the temperature getting bumped up a few degrees. No? Well, I can't blame a guy for trying. Huh. This place used to be the super weapons control room. Looks like our crispy friend here was the last one to use it. Over a millennia ago. Search the records for any signs of what wiped them out. Looks like Iocath's creators were fighting a civil war. One side built the weapon, but something went wrong. The super weapon's more dangerous than we thought. It wiped out all life on this planet. What kind of weapon wipes out an entire species and leaves the droids to tend house? Maybe a bioweapon? Sentient programming? I'm not sure. Only one thing's for certain. According to this data, it was tested on four different planets before Iocath. All successful. Over 10 trillion lives gone. This isn't a weapon. It's the apocalypse. 
If the Empress hears about this, she may try to seize the weapon and turn it against us. My lips are sealed. There. I've downloaded Arsenal blueprints, fusion matrices, everything our army needs to gear up with the latest and greatest Iocath weaponry. Now, let's get out of here before... that happens. Commander, we need to talk. Time's short, Lana. What's on your mind? You said it yourself. How did the Empire, the Republic, and the Eternal Alliance all find the superweapon within minutes of each other? The timing's too perfect. It can't be a coincidence. Exactly. We were acting on intel from an anonymous source. And it turns out, so was the Empire. What's your point? I cross-referenced both sets of data. And they're identical. I'm confident the Republic received the same intel. Whoever tipped us off wanted everyone to clash over the superweapon. They wanted to start a galactic war. Who benefits from starting a war? Could it be Malcolm? Or Sina? We can't rule anyone out. Other top suspects include the Shroud, Darth Jadis, a rogue agent inside the Republic's Strategic Information Service. Let's not rule out Sith intelligence. The point is, there are too many suspects to count. Find me a name. I'm on it, Commander. Welcome back, Commander. Meet the Crimson Talon. A joint Imperial Alliance production, outfitted with Iacath weaponry and ready for you to pilot in battle. I can think of no better way to face the tide of our enemies. May it chew through our foes. Incoming call. Supreme Commander Malcolm, have you called to surrender? Not quite. Consider this a friendly warning. My engineers have discovered a back door into the superweapon. Once they've gained access, we will turn the weapon against you and win this war for the Republic. An attack against me is an attack against Theron. Would you really sacrifice your son? I had a son, once. He dedicated his life to defending the Republic. I dedicated my life to the fight for peace. And when you bow to the Eternal Empire, I decided to fight back. That's why I joined the Alliance. And your idealistic war nearly destroyed the Republic. Goodbye, Agent Sean. Damn it, Malcolm. He's afraid of you, Theron. Malcolm doesn't see the strength I know you have. Thanks, but I don't need a pep talk. The walker is yours, Commander. Lead our charge. Crush the Republic. Where's Malcolm? Right here. Last chance. Surrender, or I activate the superweapon. No deal. Theron, you wouldn't. Don't kill him over me. I couldn't live with myself. And I couldn't live if I lost you. You've chosen this tyrant over me? Over the Republic? Yes, I have. Don't do it, Malcolm! I see a radiant city, bathed in light, forged by the molten gods. Malcolm! The superweapon is glorious, and it belongs to the Republic! I've got a bad feeling about this. The gods sense your fear, Commander. No! The gates are closing! Sir, your connection to the throne is breaking down. Superweapon controls are failing! No, I can still see it. I know what I must do. They're coming. It's too late, Theron. We can't give up now. You were right, 
it, son. I'm so sorry. Tell your mother. I'm sorry. You always put the Republic first. I hated you for that. But now you're gone. And I couldn't save you. I know it hurts. But we'll get through this. I promise. Thanks. I mean it. <laughs> Malcolm's power flux knocked out the super weapons defenses. Killed the signal that put our ships in lockdown. The Eternal Fleet's back online. It's about time. Commander, I'm detecting massive power spikes at the superweapon facility. Let me guess. That's bad. More like catastrophic. The weapon core is charging and no one's at the controls. If you don't deactivate it soon, it may obliterate the entire planet. How soon until the weapon fries Iocath? We're talking minutes. You'll never make it in time. Hold on. With the shields down, I can remotely slice into the mainframe from here. Maybe buy you enough time to manually kill the weapon at the source. Do whatever it takes. In the meantime, tell our forces to take shelter. And Theron, I love you. I love you too. Now go on. Save us all from a fiery death. We're counting on you. Eternal Fleet, move into position and charge all forward batteries. It's time to knock out a super weapon. Theron, I've reached the super weapon facility. How do I shut it down? You'll need to interface with the main controls. Look for a throne, take a seat, and hope for the best. Am I crazy, or is this the third one I've seen today? We can start a collection. Time's running out. Hurry! the act and point me in the direction of the super weapon. The six bow to no one. Show me your rage. Calm, peace. It denies fury. A sacrifice mediocre. I didn't come here to be poked and prodded. You had no choice. You were lured here. Blinded by duty, distracted by trust, you did not see the blade to your neck. The rage in your shadow, the traitor. You are betrayed. I've let too many people into my inner circle. It's only a matter of time before someone stabbed me in the back. Suspicion corrodes. The betrayer lured you to Iocath, ignited war, sparked the engines of rage, envy, passion, hate, sorrow. The betrayer now offers you sacrifice prime, fuel. For the six gods! I'm not an offering. I'm your destroyer. Rage! Get 
Eternal Fleet, open fire! Don't worry, Commander. You're safe. I found the superweapon. It was a giant droid. I know. You've been talking in your sleep. Your dreams are almost as bad as mine. Whatever that droid is, you knocked it out of commission with the Eternal Fleet. Now it's recharging and gearing up for a counterattack. Which is why we must strike soon. Hesitate too long and the Titan may destroy us all. Someone betrayed me. They lured me into that death trap and sabotaged the throne, just like they tricked all of us into fighting a war on Iokath. The conspiracy cuts deeper than we imagined. Sounds like an inside job, all right. Only a handful of people could get close enough to sabotage the throne. Who could have done such a thing? You're my spy master, Lana. No one's better positioned to stick a blade between my ribs. Well, I'm glad that's out in the open. If Lon is under suspicion, you better add me to the lineup. I am the better spy, after all. How kind of you, Theron. Then there's Asina, Ego, Vizsla, Satil, the entire Alliance army. Whoever it is, I want them rooted out. Quickly. There's only one solution. You must monitor everyone. Hold on, Minister of Paranoia. You can't invade everyone's privacy to sniff out a single rat. I can't, but the Commander can. Give the order and I'll begin surveillance of everyone, even Theron and myself. It's the only way to flush out the traitor. I can't take any more chances. If someone so much as scratches their nose, I want to hear about it. We'll form a surveillance team. Everyone will be considered a suspect. Excellent. You're awake and looking stronger than ever, I see. Are you ready to return to the battlefield? Their Supreme Commander's dead. Is the Republic still refusing to surrender? They always were a stubborn lot. Without Malcolm, the Republic forces are in total chaos. They're more desperate than ever for control of Iacath. The Republic can't fight forever. Without Malcolm's guidance, they'll be crushed between our armies. It's so close I can almost taste it. We must rain destruction on the Republic, day and night, until we soak Iacath with their blood. Only then will we emerge triumphant. Good luck on the battlefield, Commander. Victory will be ours. We'll track her movements, see what she's hiding. I'll promise you right now, whoever this traitor is, we will find them. And we'll make them pay. I know you will. While you start searching, I'm going to win the war they started. For the Eternal Alliance. May the Force serve us all. <laughs>